Welcome to my boat tour of a Mark IV Crabber. Top version, five berths, completely open plan. Four berth version, has a bulkhead. The bulkhead drops down to produce a V-berth at the front. It has two lockers in the cockpit, which is handy. Three berth, no V-berth front, full solid locker. One cockpit locker, but you've got masses of storage on this version. Let's have a look at the boat in general. Starting at the stern, there would normally be a ladder on the push pit in the centre, but it's been removed because the wind vane has been added. There's a small aft deck. It's used for holding the life raft. Underneath the life raft, there's a small locker which holds the gas bottles which drain overboard. She has an overhung transom which lets the boat exit the water without drag. She has about two foot um, freeboard at the lowest point, but she also has a beautiful shear to go with it. The cockpit is very deep and safe. It would sit about six adults if you wanted it to. She has a hard dodger to keep the companionway dry with good hand holds on it. On exiting the cockpit, you will find wide, uncluttered side decks to walk up. These on a 24 foot boat are superb. They open up onto a four deck, which gives you a lot of working area and a lot of space. I've changed both the uh, original reefing lines for fail and drums with hard foils on, and I've changed the flexible Bob stay for a stainless chain. She has twin rubbing strakes, which I like, twin guard wires for safety, externally mounted uh, chain plates. She has two quite small deck tracks, one for the jib, one for the stay sail. And when the storm sail goes on, she has to tack off at the front there in the center. The main sail cover is made by Jekylls to my own design. The old one was too cumbersome. It's just got two zip lines in for the top and lift. Another valuable thing about a hard dodger is it's an excellent place for you to stow a good sized solar panel. A strong manual windlass. Two rollers on the bow. Two fair leads on the bow. And two cleats to tie off to makes life very easy I moved the top guard wire this one it used to be attached here and it left this big open space here if you had just fall in it would daft really this is where I relocated the um, ladder from the push pit it's a good place it's easy for getting on and off the dinghy and it's easy for getting on and off if you dried out with the legs of course All the deck surfaces are non-slip, which is very useful because you don't have to think too hard when moving around. My lovely hard dodge is made of fiberglass. It's in the same arc as the roof of the boat, so it looks quite pleasant. It sits on some stainless steel. This raise in the coach roof here, I believe, is one of the differences between the Mark III and the Mark IV. This raise provides a couple more inches of headroom inside the main cabin. The little aft deck supports the push pit. A couple of cleats, a couple of fair leads. Outboard bracket. Stern light, second VHF aerial. It also, underneath the life raft, which is sitting on top, of the gas locker and the gas locker lids here the life raft's held on with pelican hooks and as you can see the life raft cord isn't tied off it's supposed to be tied off to this point here the life raft attachment point i'll do that later engine control engine panel well out of the way i'm not going to kick that in a hurry laid down teak on the decks which is all in lovely condition 
the floor comes up for engine inspection or bilge inspection. My beautiful hard dodger again. Simplicity keeps the rain off, but more than that, something to grab hold of, which is very important on a boat. The side grab lines let you step out while holding onto something safe onto the side decks, which is invaluable. It sits on standard um, spray hood mounts, so there's nothing extra that you've got to fit to the boat to make it work. Side dodgers, just canvas. A couple of cable ties holding them on. They can be on, they can be off. At the front, I've got a piece of perspex. It's just pushed into place, clips on. It can be on, it can be off, depending on the weather. Companionway doors, designed to go where the washboards used to be. They're on offset inches, so the open lake on the horizon. And he's slipping and out nicely. They're held in place when on the way with a simple hook. It just drops into the eye, it's just on the other side, on the bulkhead there, and stops the door swinging closed. The instruments are designed so that when the doors are open you can actually see them, but unfortunately there's frost on the glass at the moment because it's a really cold day. There's two steps on the door overlap to keep weather at bay. When they're closed, they're a lot stronger than they look. You can give them a right good boot and they don't move. The hinged pins are just drop pins. They can be removed. So the doors can be completely removed should you want them to for any reason. On the port side, I've got my bilge pump, my manual one. The locker lids have just got two clasps, one either side. And you just pull the lid out, it doesn't have any fasteners at all. Lifting the locker lid and to keep it up, there's a bungee with a hook on the end of it and you stick it on the end of the lower guard wire. This neoprene seal has arced corners to match the arced receiver on the other side. That's a secondary seal. This locker is big enough to house all my sail and junk. On the lid, the bilge pump handle for the manual bilge pump sits. Just poke it in and pump away. Just clips back in when you want to get shut of it. Right down the bottom here, underneath those ropes and red lids on top of my batteries that's where my batteries live that's actually below the water line and that is the top of the fuel tank which is actually below the water line as well this is where the solar panel controller hides best shut that and unhook that and clip it back on the inside of the lid before i close it just clasp them down it takes seconds and they actually apply a little bit of pressure to the neoprene seal. I've added deck level scuppers over here, which you require when sailing on the same tack for a bit, because this filled up with water once. These corner seals of neoprene I had to add in because this arc here, which is like on the other side, fitted on top of a square, which left four corners open. Little bit of a daft idea, really. Twin running back stays, four cap stays, and two four stays, eight stays in total, holding a short rig up, bulletproof. In heavy winds when running, rain can often get through the companionway when the doors are open. But not when this little devil comes down. It's just a floppy plastic window that stops the rain. It's not normally so cold, it's the cold weather. Underneath the cockpit sole, we have the prop shaft and the bilge. This is also the access point for the rear of the engine for servicing. Below the water line, she has a long keel with a cutaway forefoot. Doesn't help her drying out though. You can now see why I moved the ladder to the front of the boat. 
This about brings us to an end of the exterior video tour on my Crabber 24. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then please like and subscribe. I will be putting up next one on the interior.